This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. This is an overview of how to use Google Sheets rubric templates in your Google Classroom. So first step, you'll notice I'm on the Google Sheets application, which I simply went to in my Waffle. You'll notice I have this template gallery that shows at the top. I'm going to open this up. And my school has its own templates in our own repository. Notice I have the blank Google Classroom rubric template, which I'll include in the description of this video, as one of the ones I can use. As soon as I click this template, it makes a copy for me. So now this is mine. And I'm going to modify this how I would like. Very important, I cannot change the formatting, meaning I can't delete out rows, or this will not work when I pull it into Google Classroom. So I can add rows if I'm going to copy. I want to copy all of those. And then I could paste it. And notice I keep the formatting. And I can delete rows as well. But what I cannot do is delete out this first row, the second row, and I don't want to add anything to FG. I want to leave all of this the way it is. And I can change the scoring to 4321 if I would like. And I can change any of my text and examples. So I would want to go through all this and fill it in. So here's an example. Notice you can change the coloring. And this is a critical thinking rubric that can be used. Now I'm going to create an assignment where I want to use some of the rubric or all of the rubric that is in my template gallery. So I'm going to go make an assignment in Google Classroom, Assignment. Now I'm going to add all my details in and then I'm going to click rubric and I'm going to import that rubric from sheets and what's wonderful is once I do import this and possibly modify it I can then reuse it at any time. So I'm going to import from sheets and because I had used a template and made my own copy now it's sitting right in my recents. So let's say I'm going to use this critical thinking template. I'm going to add that in and notice it puts my scores, it puts all of that information right in here. If I only want to use a piece of that rubric, I don't need to modify the sheet. I can just remove it right from Google Classroom. So I can delete it. I can even move them around. I can duplicate. It updates the score for me. And I may decide I only want to use three of the five criteria this time. I want the scoring, but you can shut that off. And I'm going to save. And now this rubric is applied. And when I get student work, I simply have to use the rubric. It will appear on the right hand side of my student work. I can click what scores it will convert for me and pull it into the Google Classroom gradebook. What's wonderful is that now that's in here and I can reuse it at any time. These are kept in the template gallery of our district, and you can make them for yourself as well. Enjoy.